I'm Jason UFC, and today we have a story about Hamza Chemaev responds to call out from former UFC welterweight champion Kamal Usman. Hmm. Hamza Chemaev is responding to the call out from former UFC welterweight champion Kamal Usman. Chemaev, 12 0 in MMA, last fought and defeated Kevin Holland at UFC 279 in September of last year. That was a Catch weight fight that was not in the welterweight division. Usman, who is 20, um, wins three losses in MMA after an impeccable record, has two losses in a row in his last two appearances in the octagon. It was at UFC 278 in August of last year that Leon Edwards head kick knocked out Kamal Usman. The two um, met again earlier um, this year at UFC 286 in March, where Edwards once again defeated Kamal Usman to retain his welterweight um, title. It was during an interview with ESPN MMA that Kamal Usman recently called out Hamza Chemaev. Okay, this is what Kamal Usman said. I think a fight between me, Kamal Usman, and Hamza, um, boom. And if he, Leon Edwards, keeps winning, I think that a fourth fight for sure for me it's now like i'm having fun so it's like what's the biggest funnest most intense fight that really makes me feel that and you know that's the fight right there uzman and edwards have indeed met a total of three times in octagon okay we don't have to talk about that right but first uzman is looking to challenge kamal um Usman is looking to challenge Hamza Chemaev inside the octagon. Hamza Chemaev took no time to respond to Twitter with the following message to the um, call out. Oh, we're going to have to hit the um, translate button. Okay, the translate button says someone needs to be poisoned for retirement. Is that a yes and acceptance to Usman call, call out? I, I, is that what it says? Someone needs to be poisoned for retirement. Hmm. I guess he's saying he's gonna really beat him up. I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't know if that's translated correctly. Um. I'm pretty sure. Um. Hamza Chamayev probably said something. Why would he answer in this? Is this even a response to Kamal Usman? I don't even know. It's a little bit surprising that that's the response. Um. Hamza Chamayev gives. To Kamal Usman calling him out, just saying something like someone needs to be poisoned for retirement. That's kind of, I don't know, that's kind of quiet. Like, we haven't really heard much from Hamza Chemaev since his victory at UFC 279. And that was last September. So we don't know at the moment, is Chemaev in the welterweight division? Is Chemaev in the middleweight division? When is Chemaev's next fight? You know, we have still no clues, still no hints, still no step forwards. There's no direction as to why, where Kamal Usman, I mean Kamal Usman, Hamza Chemaev is going to fight next. Um, um, I'm an MMA casual, but my hardcore MMA friends tell me that um, it looks like Chemaev is going to go to the middleweight division and fight Paulo Costa, right? But Paulo Costa is calling out Jan Blakovic, who's a light heavyweight, I don't know what's going on with Paulo Costa um, in the middleweight division. So I don't know if uh, Chemaev is going up to the middleweight division. Um, Who would he fight in the middleweight division? Sean Strickland already has a fight. Um, Allen has a fight. Um, I mean, there would be people like Jared Cannonier, right? If Chemaev went up to the middleweight division, um, Robert Whitaker has a fight. Uh, Drake is the Plessis has a fight. Alex Pereira is moving up to the light heavyweight division. So I don't know who, I mean, I guess Chemaev could fight Paulo Costa, but you know, I mean, if that fight happens, that would be cool. But I don't know if Chemaev is even in the um, the welterweight or middleweight division, so we have no idea what's going on there. Um, Usman's coming off of a loss in March. Was that in March? Right? I think that fight happened in March. Or, yeah, it was in March, UFC 286. Um, or was it UFC 285? I, I, I really can't remember. Let me see. Uh, I have no idea. It was 
Yeah, UFC 286. How about that? Um, UFC 286. Um, Usman lost to Leon Edwards. Unanimous decision. A loss. Um, so who knows how soon um, Usman is looking to come back. I mean, he didn't take too much damage in that fight. Anything like that. So I'm, I'm pretty sure he's looking to come back maybe as early as July. Um, Edwards will be fighting Kobe Covington for the welterweight title. So Usman... He has challenges like um, Chamayev or Shakov Rachmanov. That's the only other name really in the welterweight division that would make sense for uh, Kamar Usman would be Shakov Rachmanov because all the other welterweights are like already in a scheduled fight. You have um, Sean Brady scheduled to fight uh, Jack Della Maddalena. You have um, Burns fighting Bilal Muhammad, you have Wonderboy Thompson and Michelle Pereira, so a lot of the welterweights are already going to fight each other. I would say the two names I would like to see Kamal Usman fight is Chemayev, if Chemayev is still in the welterweight division, and if the Chemayev fight doesn't happen, somebody sooner or later is going to have to fight Shakov Rachmanov. The kid is 17-0, 17 victories by way or of KO, TKO, or submission. So he is a real, real, real big problem. Like I said, he's in the top 10, and sooner or later, someone is going to have to fight him in the top 10. That would be my pick for Usman versus Shakov Rachmanov next because we have no idea what's happening with uh, Hamza Chamayev. But let me know your opinion of this story. Do you want to see Kamal Usman fight Hamza Chamayev next? Do you want to see Kamal Usman fight Shakov Rachmanov next? That's my opinion. Or do you want to see Kamal Usman fight someone else next? I'm Jason, UFC. Today we had a story about Hamza Chamayev kind of response. It was, it was a very light response. Kind of response to call out from UFC former welterweight champion Kamal Usman. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the $1 donation button, and please tune in to the next video on this channel. Thanks a million for watching.